And welcome back, this is Baldur's Cooper with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I am joined as always by my trusty squad of Luke, Nova, and Bro Layla is with us today. Now you might notice that the numbers are a little bit higher than what they were last time. I've been doing a little bit of grinding. I got Cure up to level 5, Holy up to level 7, pretty much everything else worthwhile up to level 4. Do have a Suna up to level 3 and Basuna up to level 2. That one's not really that worthwhile in Phase. I, th I thought Phase was a much more effective in this game, but it's only later games that that comes into effect. And for what Nova's done, just holy crap. Okay, we've got level 3 on Doom, Curse, Blind, Sleep, Drain, Poison, and Dispel. Level 7 on Bolt and Ice, and level 8 on Fire. It's it's actually very, very powerful. Let's go ahead and move these around just a little bit. And what really shines for me is is the statuses, all the little numbers here. Look at that. Luke's agility is 99. His spirit is 86. Good lord, he is very spiritual. Nova is, however, our smartest person. She has 94 intelligence, and of course they have strength in the mid-40s, and uh, endurance, well, Luke doesn't really need endurance because he's so fast he never gets hit. And Bro has 91 strength, 52 endurance, just, just insane. And he's up to level 14 mastery on his axe and spear, and Layla, well, I haven't really been trying to level her up. We're outside Mysidia, by the way, and we need to head for our next location, and it's gonna be kind of a hard one to get to. Not even gonna lie. I think I left the boat up here somewhere. Hopefully I did. There it is. Alright, we need to head east. We're in search of the Black Mask. And this, pretty much all they told us was that it was an island in the middle of the ocean. Do you see it? It's gonna be a doozy. Alright, we're gonna follow the southern continent, the Mycidian continent. And we're hopefully gonna come across those straits again that we can pass underneath. There they are. Now, how far is it west? I think I can find it by going west and then south, but I'm not exactly sure. I'll probably have to double check my map quite a bit. Looks like that's roughly where it is. I don't know if you guys can see that on the far southern tip of the map. So, funny story, that last battle said that Luke leveled up agility again, so I went to check it, and he's actually already maxed at 99. Is that it? I think that is our destination right here. Just the tropical island in the middle of nowhere. Yes, the tropical island it is. So we need to find a battle right here. Do we have new enemies to show off? Uh, no. Wow, these guys are weak as hell. Yeah, it might be a little bit overpowered, but that's okay. This is supposed to be an easy dungeon anyway. Here we get some eye drops. Awesome. Why don't they give me good stuff? I am tired of getting these cheap items in these technically hard dungeons, but this one isn't hard at all. We do have some new enemies here, though. These are yellow jellies and red mooses. If I remember right, they're pretty much all weak to fire. It'll give us a chance to show off our fire, because these guys are supposed to be strong against the physical attack, but apparently I can still kill them with my physical attack. That's awesome. You have no idea how much damage that actually is. Uh, so we should... Yeah, we'll cast another fire, why not? Yeah, we're not supposed to be able to do any damage with physical attacks at this point in the game. But, if I get a critical, I am able to do it. And that's definitely enough of the victory. Okay, let's look at fire rate with just on one red moose. Uh, it's not really showing off how much damage that actually does. Uh, when we find some normal enemies that we haven't seen before, I will show off. Oh, you guys will be amazed. 
Two high potions, that is definitely worthwhile. So it's back to this intersection here. And hopefully we can find something worthwhile showing off and killing. These guys will do. They will do. Okay, let's just attack them. Let's show how much damage we do. Normally these guys will die with about 80 damage. Bro is definitely my best attacker. By a mile. Yeah. I might be a little overpowered. I don't care. I honestly don't. The game will nerf me eventually. It always does. And here we get an ether. Those things are very scarce in this game. Now there is a ton of treasure that we've already gotten on this floor. Let's see, it looks like there's some, some more down there! And what's in this treasure chest down here? Mm, hold on. What do we have? We have a silk web, which... If I remember it was the slow effect. Was was not a big fan of that, actually. So let's continue on, making our way through the dungeon. I believe that's it for treasure on this floor. And I believe the stairs were over here. Yes, they are. Now the reason that the enemies here are so easy, and they are so easy, is because you could have gone here before you went to Mysidia. I don't know why you would. But that is an option available to you. And here we get a slumber stock. Once again, it just put people to sleep. If you went to Mysidia, you get the better items. You get the better equipment. You get the better spells. I don't understand why you would come here in a second. Alright, yeah, we want to go back up to the second basement. We don't want to go further down just yet. Actually, we do want to go down there. I, I was mistaken. I thought that was further down um, towards the boss, but it's not. So let's go down there. And it just goes back up and around. Weird. What is through here? The music stopped. Uh, what? Um, what's up? Looky here, where are you from? Um, elsewhere. Look at your weird face. Why not mask? Because I'm not a butter face like you guys all are, apparently. Why not mask? Why no mask? Why no mask? Okay. Where are you from? Anywhere but here. The black mask is at the deepest spot here, you see. But no taking it. Don't think you can find it, though. Ooh, different colored one. I will talk to you last. Wait. No. Somebody say something new. Seriously? Fine. Whatever. What's up? Oh, okay. Oh! She... She has a weapon shop. Okay. Oh. Uh, I do need to sell some things, so I'll be right back. Alright, items sold. I ended up not getting the, uh, Gaia's drum, because I don't really use items in battle, like, ever. So there you go, there are locals. And we do have new enemies here! These are Poison Toads. I'm gonna show off fire on them, if I get a turn in. Yeah, I still have Lila on the Ancient Sword. No, no, Nova does not get a turn in. See how much damage Bro did? Yeah, look at the strength increase, nobody cares. Alright, let's try to head back up to where we were. If the game doesn't want to give me any more fights, that'd be awesome! Sweet! Made it back up. Let's go to the east this time. Like I said, it, it feels like the game is designed so that you come here before you go to Mysidia, but I just don't understand why you would do that. There's a poison scroll in here, but we already have poison up to level 3, actually, on Nova. So let's follow this south, and... Oh! Did you find another poison scroll? Really? 
Would I ever need that many poison spells? Like, ever? Another blind scroll. We've gotten a few of those. So let's go west now. And, oh, another treasure chest. What do we have in here? In here we have another blind scroll. Really? I mean, blind? Do I need to blind that much? Then I need to teach it to like four people? Alright, so we're on basement three. Let's see. We have a treasure chest directly to the south. Sweet. And what do we have in here? We have garlic. Awesome. That does damage against undead. Do you know what else does damage against undead? Holy fire. So continuing on to the west, and there doesn't look like there's any other treasure. So down to basement four it is. Oh, there's, there's stairs right there. That is weird. Let's go up them, actually. They're, they're right there. Might as well. And they lead up, so they can't go to the boss. Boss is always down. Oh, there was one more treasure chest that we didn't get on the third floor. We get a phoenix down, which is awesome, but there's also a monster. Is it going to be something we can handle? Ha! <laughs> no problem! Holy fire! It doesn't matter what anybody else does. Actually, the holy might do it all by itself. Oh, didn't kill one of them, but Layla takes care of that one, no problem. Yeah, just... So strong. So strong. So we do get the Phoenix down, which I do think is an instant death, even in this game, against a, an undead type monster. So back down to basement number four we go. And there's more stairs? Really? Was basement three that huge that we missed all this stuff? I don't remember like seeing any treasure chest that I missed. Oh, see, no, it goes right back down to basement four. So let's go down, back to basement 4, sweet. And it leads down to basement 5. So let's go down there. What do we have? Well, looks like we're in like a side area of basement 5. Definitely not the main area. Oh, three tre tre chests, treasure chests even. <clears throat> Two slumber stocks and a Gaia drum. So I didn't even need to buy one, but there's a monster. Will it be something tough, or is it gonna be, you know, stuff from, like, three levels ago? Okay. Uh, Wild Horns. I think those are new. I don't think we've seen those, actually. Let's go ahead and... I believe they are weak against ice, because I tried fire, and it didn't work out so well for me. So let's try ice. Down goes one of the wi wild horns, so these guys are not that tough. Neither are the poison guys yet. The enemies here are not tough after after what I fought in Miss City. Even getting to Miss City was harder than this dungeon so far. Which is probably why the programmers wanted you to come here first, but it's just so weird. Why would they want you to go to a place that you've never heard of, just a random spot on the map, before you went to where the game actually told you to go? I just don't understand it. So we do have the Gaia drum now, but now it's back all the way to, uh, I think it was still basement four. It was a long journey to get those, uh, slumber scrolls and Gaia drum. They must be incredibly epic items and I will totally use them to break the game. Oh wait, no I won't. So yeah, back, you know, we had to go through like four rooms to get those three treasure chests. So we're finally back to where we were. Good lord, that took forever. Now I just got into a fight with poison frogs, and they dropped a Thanatos, which is a figurine with fear effect. So awesome. Oh, wait, I have four slumber stocks. That's insane. I'm full on items as well. Okay. So from here, we want to go north. And then we want to head east a bit. There's a treasure chest right there. 